hey hey boss babe squad francesca Jeanette here if you are new to my channel please subscribe to my channel and show your girl some support i'm going to be coming out with a lot of new content because i'm going to be doing my unboxing today of my latest toy so i'm going to be so excited to film brand new videos for you all make sure that you like this video if you like what you see i'll make sure to post a link below to this item that i'm going to be unboxing today so that you can also purchase it and if you're new to youtube it'll be a great asset to help start your youtube channel also make sure you comment below with any ideas or any new content you like to see me film and i'll be sure to you know respond to your comment i'm very personable i love to interact with my um youtube subscribers so here's the video box so we definitely have to unbox it it did come via ups in a usps package like where they do that at but okay but it is my new camera it is a canon g7x mark ii um they do have a mark ii and a mark three out i decided to get the mark ii first of all it comes with a camera bag all right, so it's just your generic camera bag. This camera did come with a bundle set. So it wasn't only the camera, it actually came with a bundle of different items that will help me with my YouTube vlogging experience. So a cute little camera bag, some accessories like a blow kit, a lens cleaner, a little tripod, and I'll open this up. Um, it came with one extra battery. The battery is off brand, so the battery is not Canon, but a battery is a battery is a battery. As long as it works, I'm cool with it. Came with a little HDMI cable to hook the camera up to your TV, a 64 gigabyte fan disc memory card. So I definitely need as much storage as I can get because I take a lot of pictures. You may not see me post a lot of pictures, but I take a lot of pictures. So I definitely need the storage. Right now I'm filming on my phone. So as you can see, even with the front facing camera, which is what I'm filming with now, it's pretty clear. I usually film with the back of my camera, but I just wanted to see myself. So you can kind of see the difference between this frontal camera of my iPhone X, and then hopefully I'll be able to show you a side by side of the Canon against my iPhone X so you can see the quality. Also came with a tripod, a handheld, uh, I think some companies call it a Gorilla tripod, but this one isn't Gorilla brand, but I'm just thankful that it came in my bundle because these alone are expensive. I'll also link one of these below so that you'll be able to buy it from my Amazon store. It does all these little bendy things and you could wrap it around poles when you're taking your pictures or you could just hold it up as a regular tripod it's really flexible um it does have um an adapter that you can uh connect the camera to so oh and it also comes with a little leveler isn't that cool so you'll know if your picture is going to be angled or off center but the camera does come with a um a viewer so probably won't have to worry about that but that's nice that it does have a little leveler that's pretty decent and da da da, da the camera itself let's go ahead and open this box I'm so excited you guys like i've had a camera before that my parents bought me but that was like back in high school cameras weren't what they are these days it does come with an official canon battery a battery a battery charger i'm gonna go ahead and plug this bad boy in so that i'll be ready to possibly do a side by side i'm just doing the generic battery the generic battery goes in like this and then you just take the plug out and plug it in so i'll be right back okay and here is the camera oh my god it's so pretty i'm so excited here it is you guys the canon 
G7X Mark II. Look at there. Oh, it's so lightweight and it just fits in your hand perfectly. And oh my gosh, like, I'm so excited. So first off, let's talk about the specs. Um, you have the on and off button. You have the zoom. You have different scenes that you can choose from for your camera. It has a menu button, a play button. It has a um, trash can where you can empty photos, a record button, of course. And then my favorite part, the viewer. So this actually slides up and you can see yourself recording. Isn't that cool? So this would be the perfect place for a thumbnail. Okay, so now that we have our thumbnails out the way, we're gonna plug this bad boy in and see what she does. Okay, so of course I don't have my memory card in here, so turn her off. As you can see, when I turn her on, the lens comes out and you can see me in the camera. I don't know much about cameras, so I'm not sure about the focus and all of that, but that's the view part up and then like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my little gorilla thing on. So you all can watch me do that. So just put it on and spin it around and spin it around and spin it around. I'm going to have to research like the settings that I need to have the Canon on for like the best quality video. I've never had a Canon before. I've actually had an Olympus before and I just took pictures with it. I wasn't interested in all the specs and all that. I was just happy to have a camera. I'm going to start filming on this now. So y'all, I can't even, y'all like, <laughs> oh my gosh. This camera is sick. Now, what I will, ha what I know I'm gonna have a problem with is I keep looking at the viewfinder and not the lens, and you're honestly supposed to be looking at the lens. But if you could see the viewfinder there, oh my gosh, I'm looking at it now, and it it definitely blurs out the background. It does take a little while to focus, but. The fact that it blurs out the background is just making the overall quality of my picture in the camera just amazing. So I'm gonna let the battery charge a little bit so I can do a quick side by side. So stay tuned. Okay you guys, so again, I just wanted to show you what the camera bundle came with. It came with, of course, the Canon camera the Canon G7X Mark II. It came with a Canon battery, an extra battery that's off-brand, but it still works. A 64 gigabyte memory card, a essential photo kit, which as you can see comes with spray solution, a USB, an extra camera um, lanyard, screen protectors, a blower, a mini tripod um, for light travel, and a duster pen, and some Q-tips, and some lens cleaner. And I believe that's the SD card holder, but I'm not sure. Um, I really don't need anything in here, probably except for the lens cloth. Um, a strap, which I will be putting on my camera because I cannot be dropping this camera, y'all. I cannot. Um, a handheld tripod, which it does bend, like I said, and it's very flexible, especially if you're taking pictures outside or you need to wrap it around a pole. The camera connects on this screw here, and it also has a leveler. And it comes with a HDMI to, I don't know, port, <laughs> HDMI to something port, the cam the port that goes to the camera, like how the Samsung phones have. Hopefully y'all can see that. But that's basically, again, what it comes with. And I'm so excited that I got the camera along with all these other accessories. Um, be aware when you buy the camera, and I'll link the camera bundle below, that it may be an international brand versus USA brand. The camera works the same, it's made by the same people. 
It's just you may not be able to pair it to your other Canon accessories on Canon.us. So just be mindful of that. I just wanted the dog on camera and I got it for a good deal. So yeah. Okay, you guys, one thing I also forgot to mention is that I did order tempered glass screen protection to go on the back of the camera you already see that I have smudges on here so definitely get you some tempered glass screen protectant to put on the screen this screen is going to be your bread and butter y'all so make sure that you don't break it don't crack it put that screen protector on so that you'll always be able to have an uncracked screen in the event you know it's in your purse which it should be in a case but if it's in your purse and your key scratch it or a pen or whatever your original glass is protected so this is going to get wiped off and then the screen is going to be put on there Okay, so I didn't want to wait the whole two hours for the battery to charge because I was just so excited to be able to do a side-by-side. -side. There's a little bit of light outside, so I wanted to go ahead and film this um, while I still had a little bit of daylight. But I have reassembled the camera back to the tripod. Um, it feels so good in my hands. Like, it doesn't feel stiff or anything. I may invest in a shorter one that's not as long, but it's cool with me. It came with my bundles or whatever. I did insert my 64 um, gigabyte memory card in here so that I would be able to record. And I have inserted the battery, which is still not fully charged. So hopefully it does not cut out on me. But I'm so excited still. I'm so excited. Okay. So I'm going to, I've turned it on. I've put the view finder up and then I'm going to hit record. Okay y'all, so we are recording and I'm going to do a side by side between this Canon G7X Mark II and my iPhone 10. So as you can see, we are recording. It does bounce the light off really good and it does blur the background again. I have, again, a huge problem looking at the viewfinder and not the lens. So look here. So let's look at the focus. Let's take, um, let's see our tempered glass box and see how well it focuses versus the iPhone 10. So, and me focusing back, tempered glass. Of course the iPhone 10 immediately focuses it takes the Canon a few seconds again. <laughs> it takes a while to focus the clarity of the picture and the lighting, but y'all ain't complaining because I got me a vlog camera and it it's about to be on and popping, okay? My hair looks darker on the G7X and my makeup from far away it looks flawless. I did a very light beat today, so I don't really have full coverage. It's just mainly in the areas I needed it. But the iPhone makes it look really nice, and the G7X just makes it look brighter. So, that's it. Tell me what you all think in the comments, because if you have this camera and you love it, if you've wanted to get this camera, I've seen a lot of people want to get the Sony a51 or a61 like 6100 or 5100 or the a6500 whatever it is um but i just saw so many videos and did a ton of research on the g7x canon and i was just blown away every camera has its great features you can't have one camera with all the features you want so i just chose the camera that was best for me and what i wanted to do but as you can see i put the camera down because it did go dead Okay, so we're live and I'm just trying to maneuver how to hold my camera as well as my Canon G7X. So just wanted to go around the house and show you a little bit of lighting differences between the two. And preferably I can figure out how to do a side by side for both of these at the same time. So here we go. I'm facing my window, facing my ring lights. Facing the window again. Hold the camera down. 
pull it back up to see how well it focuses pretty fast okay back towards the window so as you can see with a Canon it does take a while to focus and you really can't see with the back lighting towards the camera you can't see me whereas on the iPhone 10 you can but it's cool so now I'm walking into my living room facing my patio door and again I have to figure out how to hold this camera going towards the kitchen going towards the wall <laughs> back towards the light and we will head outside let's see I'm going in a darker area I have a candle facing my face oh and the cannon actually lights up cool 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 so I'm gonna go out to the garage the garage okay so now we're in my garage and it's not really focusing so I'm gonna open up the garage so you can see the sun let's see and it's focusing okay so now I'm outside on my patio and this is us facing the sun so I mean they're both the same to me what y'all think it does blare out the background a little bit I have a wider scope in the frame so you can see more of what's behind me um, the side of the sun well the sun on the side of my face and the sun behind me sun behind me is a little bit better on the Canon versus my phone on the inside the light on the back of my head you really couldn't see my face so this is the Sun to the right of me and yeah how do y'all like it so far the iPhone looks more like in real time whereas the Canon makes it look more like a video like a vlog I'm trying to keep the phones together it looks more like a vlog versus you know real time I'm so happy y'all so happy and I'm about to fall so I'm gonna go back in <laughs> coming in from outside you can see again it's kind of dark close door coming in from outside you can see again it's kind of dark maybe I need to just clean my lens on my phone but sun to my back, window light to my back, it is kind of dark. And when I face the window, zoom, 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 focus, focus, focus. That's about it. The kids have my <laughs> living room looking a hot mess, but that's it for the side by side. And again, I have to remember to look here and not up here. <laughs> that goes for my camera too. I always look at the screen and not the camera so maybe if I look in the middle of them both it'll work but that makes me feel like I'm cross-eyed so mm. Mm. yeah but that's it so what better way to do the outro of this video than to do it on my new toy I'm super super excited and just thank you all for supporting my channel if you like what you saw in this video be sure to subscribe and make sure you support your girl if this video inspired you to purchase your own vlogging camera and make the investment in yourself or it helps you decide which camera to get because there's so many out there Canon Sony Lumix um, Nikon Canon just spoke to my heart um, it had most of the features I was looking for in the camera all cameras are not perfect but this one had most of the features that I was looking for to grow my YouTube channel and to enhance my vlogging experience if you were inspired by anything in this video be sure to comment below 
and just let me know if something stuck out to you that helped you make your decision regarding which camera you would get and also comment below what other videos you'd like me to do in the future what new content do you want to see from my page so as always be safe be kind be loving and i just love you all boss baby squad you rock with your girl and i appreciate that so i'm gonna go play with my toy a little bit more and i hope you all have a blessed day Mwah.